vote for us? We've got a monster board out there, reading from the top hat. He's got a board. Every single team has a button. Who's going to vote for us? Whatever team is your favorite. They do something awesome. You can vote for your favorite team. You can vote for as many teams and as often as you like. We call it Chicago style voting. Vote early and vote often. Every single vote counts as a point and it goes towards the championship. Because you don't have to be fast, you can be awesome and win. And we're going to be racing here today for a full 75 minutes. That's right, 75 minutes. These cars are going to have to put every 15 minutes and change drivers. Or if they don't have an extra driver, change costumes. Because if you look different to me, you're a different person. And that's enough, that counts. But the 75 minutes they gotta race, and they better race clean, because if they race dirty, they're gonna have to face the wrath of the Grim Reaper. The Grim Reaper will be watching for any dirty racing. You cause incidents, you break someone's car, you flip someone off, you answer to the Grim Reaper. You can tell he means business by his work tie, ladies and gentlemen. That's yes. right. Professional work tie. Very familiar to you. You screw up, you answer to him. Right now, the points are incredibly close. This is a amazing championship year we're having. Yesterday, if you were here with us, four different winners. That's right. We had uh, some winners. The first, the first heat was won by Phantom Power Racing right there, Yellow Helmet. Um, our second heat was won by first time, first race for Chibi Miku Van from the MIT Department of Silly Go-Karts, driven by none other than Charles Wan. Our third race, our Moxie Challenge race, was won by Audrey Horst of Milwaukee Makerspace's Lotosaurus Rex. That is Rex, W-R-E-C-K-S. You'll see that on the Moxie board over there for your votes. And fourth play, the fourth race was won finally by Hack to the Future from Hack Pittsburgh. They almost won the second race of the day, but some troubles happened to them. But they got it back going, and they, they fought back all the way to the front. Leading in the points is Phantom Power Racing from Chicago. But they're only five points ahead of Hack to the Future from Pittsburgh. Hack to the Future can take it from them. It's going to be real close between those two cars. And not far behind on their heels is Nimby from Oakland, California. And the Chibi Miku card from MIT. And the long shot hopeful, Lotosaurus Rex. If she can get first place in this race, she can win it too. But she better hope some other people wreck. Those are the teams that can win the championship in New York in September. They're all going to be fighting for standing right here in Detroit. This is our biggest race of the year, right here in Motor City, with all our flying tiny electric cars. That's right, Patrick, and I'm here right now with uh, Eli, who's going to lead off with Hack Piss for his Hack to the Future, that DeLorean you see over there. You won yesterday, but it didn't come easy. How do you think you're going to do today for 75 minutes? I think we got this. Batteries are charged. Flux capacitor is fluxing. I think we're good. Well, Eli has worked really hard. This is his, is this your fourth season racing in the league? Uh, third, I think. Third season, and it's a long, hard fought, and he is up to the top finally, working it out. Our newcomer, though, Charles, from the MIT Department of Silly Go-Karts, you had a fantastic showing yesterday, but it wasn't all glory. You had a few problems. What were they? Yeah, so we had a wire come loose off the motor controller, and then the final race uh, started getting slower and slower, becoming intermittent. Uh, so we fixed that, we strain relieved everything. So the hope was just to survive and uh, not to dent up my beautiful body work that much. Yes, that is your that is your iron fist for the Moxie Challenge. That van out there stands out, and I really think that it is going to be hard to beat, but you have some big challengers out there. Thanks, Jim. Uh, yeah, so long as we keep rolling, the endurance race is more about keeping it alive than anything else. It's the absolute truth. Audrey sure knows that. Milwaukee Makerspace, you've had a really uh, up and down weekend. Tell us how that's been going. It's been special. Um, we're trying to get a new motor controller in, trying to get us up to speed with the rest of the top runners, and we're just 
not quite there yet today, but we've got our 24 volts in and we're going to give it the best shot we can. So you're going with the slow and steady wins the race strategy. Yeah, that and Moxie and be in the crowd and we'll do what we can. It's true, you are driving a car that is a dinosaur, so that is going to work well with the group. All the kids out there love it. Now, Phantom Power Racing, you have a hot rod out there, and it's starting first. What is your strategy for turn one? Well, it's a hot rod. I think I'm just going to wear this big suit and stay very hot. It, and this is the perfect weather for it, really. We know we're all sweating out there. But right now, the only thing that they're sweating about is the start of this race, folks. So, track marshals, are you ready? Can I get everyone else in position? Make sure that the track marshals are in position and good to go. Drivers, you know how this goes. You're going to run, running Le Mans start. I would like to remind the drivers, try not to run over each other when you get going. Be courteous of your fellow competitors. Because if you run someone over, the Grim Reaper will get you. Well, both of you, actually. The Grim Reaper will get one of you first, and then the other one second. So, yeah, and we're going to get started here just shortly. Patrick, you can count down when you are ready to go, my friend. I'm going to need everyone's help with this one. Prepare to race. All right. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And we are go, go, go for the endurance race. 75 minutes, here we go. Phantom Power Racing is down the way. Followed by Nimby. Judy Needham Van has a slightly slower start of Hack PGH right behind them in Cardastrophy. Hack the Peach is going to have to activate his time circuit to get back in time to get a better start. It is still green. We are all good to go. And right now, Phantom Power Racing. Fat my boy just crossing the line now. They had a real slow start. But it's not. It's just the beginning, folks. And mayhem all over the place on the track. Ladies and gentlemen, directing your attention to number 48 and number 430, Nimby Ferrari, first and second right on top of each other. Nimby's having a look on the outside, but the Phantom closes the door on the inside. Four, four away, Nimby Ferrari from Oakland. He takes the lead, and we have the two builders out. What happened? They got to get on the track there. Oh, no! Matilda caused another accident by getting off the track. Oh, unbelievable. Those marshals are going to have to really clean that up. That might be a Grim Reaper uh, penalty by causing an accident by causing an accident. All right, that, that's a big meta for us, Patrick. I'm not sure how you even penalize that. <laughs> All right, they're lining back up to go underway. I think they knew that they reminded that this is a 75 minute oh, race. 75 minutes, people. Karen's going to turn back. It's green flag this time by. We have Nimby Ferrari in the lead with Chidi Niki Van in second place right there, that happy little band. Remember those Moxie points matter. Get those Moxie points in. Back, back to the future is fighting through the lap traffic already. They have a long way to go to make up from Chidi Niki Van. For those of you watching, first place right there, second place right next to him, already pulling away from the rest of the pack. And Phantom Power Racing stuck in traffic in third place right now. Followed by Cartastrophe and Hack to the Future in fifth. And it is intense, folks. There are quite a few quick cars out there. And right now they're navigating this bag of a car pack right over here. Nimby Ferrari right now setting the fastest pace lap of 16.6 seconds. That is incredibly quick. Nope. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cars all within a second of each other. Yeah, the lap times are not reflecting that this is a 75 minute race. Someone needs to keep reminding these drivers they have a long way to go. Before. Oh, that's a close call, right in the... Oh! Caution flag is out. Of it. That is quite the caution. Then he blew a tire and spun out. Quite dramatic. That was uh, uh, a big tire to go out. We're taking the green again this time by. Already quite a few incidents as early on. Here on the Aruga Horn from your good friendly team at I3 Detroit. Oh, it is completely packed in the back right now. The leader's tossing it up with the mid-level cars. 
and it is dicey back there. You're, the teams are going to have to really be careful, especially the lead ones if they want to survive this race. they got to stay out of trouble, but right now, the teams that aren't show. Meanwhile, first and second place, Mindy Ferrari and Chidi Mikuman are putting on one amazing show for the lead so early on. That red Ferrari and a pair of Harrison Phantom and the Hack PGH are both into the wall and back in the way. That is going to cost them. Uh, uh -huh. Meanwhile, Mindy, on the inside, Chidi Mikuman, they're splitting Cortez from being down the center line. Chidi Mikuman losing out on that one. And Cortez will be getting a little bit slower out of the exit of that turn. Matilda had a penalty for causing an accident by causing an accident. The penalty was to have to high five two people in the crowd, but apparently, oh no! Uh, all hands yeah, active. That's got to be a post lap. Yeah, that's going to be a big caution. Oh, well, we get Matilda off of the shack. Poor Matilda. So the horrible, horrible spill there. Is the driver all right? Patrick, was that both of the all hands active cars at the same time? I think so. Both of them by and are out. I can't believe it myself. That was quite the incident there. It looks like the battery pack also fell out when they flipped over. Yeah, that, that was a good tumble there. The driver is now inspecting his car, wondering what went wrong. And now as the liquid wrench pace car makes their way around, it's going to pull in and we'll take the green as soon as it gets in. That's why we wear helmets, ladies and gentlemen. It can get a little hairy out there. Oh, and Batmobile, we're still under caution. That car needs to get off the track immediately, Marshalls. Right behind you, Marshalls. Apparently Batmobile died on a caution lap. That's unusual. Alright. We're gonna have to clean it back underway. I wanna warn everyone there's gonna be a loud explosion in a couple seconds. Ha, ha. And they are back underway. Ladies and gentlemen, first and second place for Mindy Ferrari and the Chidi Miku van are on top of each other right now. Charles is having a look on the outside of Jeremy. Jeremy doesn't have enough power. He falls into a an unbelievable overtake from the MIT Department of Silly Go Karts. What a tremendous performance. Unbelievable overtake. Jeremy just did not have the power for that. But Nimby Ferrari is not done yet. He's going to reel him back in. Meanwhile, Atomic Chidi, that red chief that's right there, is currently in third place. The Chidi Nico van locks up his wheels every time he breaks. He's going to go through tires faster than he can say Chidi. Two of those last couple of cautions out. Low source Rex, last couple of cautions earlier. I3 Detroit has actually managed to get up to fourth place while the other Chibi, Atomic Chibi is also attritioning on the track a couple times. This is already a bit, bit intense. And this is just the beginning. Iron Rose needs to get underway, and they do, while the leaders are coming through. I free to turn the champion. And then the Ferrari on the outside as far outside as he possibly can go. And then he's in. You can't even pass there. I've never seen a pass there in all five years of racing in Detroit. An impossible overtake by Nimby. And Charles is looking on the inside of the MIT Department of Silly Go Karts. Nimby, Ferrari, Chibi, Miku Van. Both of them are right on top of each other. Nobody seems to have told them that this is an endurance race. For 75 minutes, you guys have to race. We have seven minutes to go before our first driver change. That's seven right. Seven minutes. Every single one of these cars has to put and change drivers or change costumes. Patrick, this is incredible. I've never seen the front runners run this hard this early before. Look at Phantom Power Racing. It's inside right wheel. has tire rub all over it. The paint from the right walls are gone. It's already taking battle damage. And right now, they're in the top five. 
Patrick, give me a breakdown on what's going on out there. In first place right now is Nimby. Second place is Gina Nikoban. Third place now is I3 Detroit, just over to Phantom. Fifth place is Cartastrophe. I3 Detroit having an amazing performance right now. They are staying out of trouble, which is something that Phantom and Cartastrophe have both run into, as, as well as Hack to the Future. Where is Hack to the Future right now, Patrick? Hack to the Future? Hack to the Future is unfortunately in sixth place. Sixth place? That's really far back for them, so that early contact really cost them. Jimmy Meeky Van screaming on the inside. It's the only room there. Oh, no, there isn't enough room for Lucky 13. Unluckily into the wall. Getting out of the way, nice and clear. Meanwhile, the battle leaders here. GD Nikuban had a really close look at Nimby Ferrari. And they didn't get the job done. Jeremy slammed the door in that turn. An amazing performance by both of them right now. Cartastri and Phantom also in the battle together with Back to the Future, keeping them completely honest. And she can make a on the inside and completes the pass. An incredible overtake, very close to what he did the first time to Nimby Ferrari. And there's just cars passing everywhere, folks. It's almost impossible to keep track. She can make a man now going leader in the 75 minute endurance race. With Nimby Ferrari constantly having to work every single turn. Fighting corner after corner. Every single one of these cars is about two seconds slower than their fastest lap. They're getting into a rhythm for endurance. That's right, Patrick. It's amazing. GD Nikuvan is trying back and forth. Nimby Ferrari, every chance it gets. He is all over the track, but Shini Nikuban won't let him through that easily. And yet, this is just the beginning of the endurance race. The Nimby Ferrari on the inside, door slammed by Shini Nikuban. Four minutes of driver change, four minutes to driver change. Shini Nikuban is under attack yet again. Nimby Ferrari keeping the Nikuban on full attack mode. There is no holding back in this race so far. A lot of boom will happen. It looks like all hands is trying to get back onto the track. And meanwhile, Ferrari has another look. Nimby Ferrari tries again. So close. Not enough. They're fighting with mini monsters. The wooden car on the inside passing through. Meanwhile, Phantom has gotten away from Cartastrophe. But right now, it's the two leaders that are putting on one incredible show. Both of these cars are absolutely on the limit. I can't believe it myself. And it looks like Jeremy, the driver of Nimby, is sizing up the Chibi Nitro man. He just gave him a threatening glare. That's